This versatile little speaker system has three different speakers and a tweeter and all kinds of different inputs. Let's check out if it's any good. What's up everybody, I'm the Derek Frank, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the new Vigilant Audio Switch One speaker system. This is not a sponsored video, but my friends at Vigilant Audio did send me these to test out first, and I'm super excited, because I know I'm gonna be one of the first people that are showing you these, and I was absolutely blown away. It's no mystery that I really love studio monitors, but I also love having good sound for my TV, my record player, and different options in my studio and in my house. And a lot of times those really nice studio monitors just don't cover everything because of that flat response. Now, that's a really good thing that you want with studio monitors, but when you're trying to just kind of hang out and play video games and watch TV, they don't do a very good job because they're not designed for that. That's where the Switch One comes in. While we're checking out the Switch Ones, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell icon. It really helps out the channel. And if you wanna buy these after seeing the whole demo, make sure you check out the description below. I will have some links that you can do that. So the first thing that I noticed with the Switch One system is how small they are. And with that size, they pack a lot into them. There's three different speakers on here, uh, two on both sides and one in the center front, as well as the tweeter. And the main speaker that has the power unit has a volume control as well as all your different inputs and then an output for headphones. The secondary speaker is the same thing, but the only input is just the cable from the master speaker to get power to it. There's no other inputs or outputs on this, but it still has the three different drivers and the tweeter on there. So let's dive in on what these are and how they might fit in your setup, either in your home office, in your regular office, or even in your studio. The design is one of their largest advantages. Being a closed box with passive radiators allows them to go much lower than other speakers of that size while maintaining detail and clarity. I was absolutely blown away by how much bass and how much sound they actually filled up in my room, especially right out of the box without having to tweak them or do any EQ settings throughout my input source. There is a hi-fi and studio switch on the back for listening to music or for studio work. That's where the name Switch One comes from. To add to their versatility, they included multiple input types. The included inputs are RCA, quarter inch, 3.5 millimeter, which is that headphone style jack, and then wireless. I really love that wireless option for when I'm using my phone because Hardly any phones have an actual output anymore without having to use a dongle. So it made it really convenient while my studio setup had everything already plugged in, rather than having to hook another cable in, I just hit that wireless button and it synced to my phone really quick. This also makes them perfect for a home connection for something like a record player or in your studio for music or video editing. Even though they're small, they sound great in a big room like this studio right here. I was pretty surprised by how much sound it actually filled in here without like losing or distorting or anything like that. A lot of times with bookshelf style speakers, they start to distort when they get louder or when you get further away from them. And also they just don't sound as great at higher volumes. These sound really, really good. And I know it's because of the design with that radiator style design and that push pull kind of method with having multiple speakers in there but having that small of a package with that much sound is a huge advantage. And really the thing that stood out to me wasn't so much the uh, ability to edit audio for music, but it was the ability to edit audio for video. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I love using my studio monitors for doing audio. You can use them at different volumes and they have that really great flat response. And the Switch Ones did a good job with that, but where they stood out to me 
was doing the video editing audio where regular studio monitors fail is that they're so flat response that you don't get that true sound that you're gonna hear out of like a cell phone speaker or laptop or normal TV speakers. The Switch One gives you that great reference but also lets you get a little bit more of a flat response still so you can easily switch back and forth and get a lot of different reference points so that you know that the audio is going to sound really good. The reason I think that's more important with video is because most video editing is either spoken word or stuff that is being optimized for things like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok where people are using their cell phones. They're not listening to them out of really expensive studio monitors. Now let's talk about the price. These are gonna retail around 250 bucks, which I think is a steal. If you wanna go out and get a sound bar of this quality, you're looking at probably in you know, the $300 range, but the problem with the sound bar is they're optimized for TV and for that kind of audio. You're not getting any flat response out of those. These are really versatile, so you can use them for a lot of things. The Vigilant Audio Switch ones are definitely going to keep a place in my studio monitor setup because of the video editing. I think that these are an incredible asset for my setup and for what I do and for doing these videos. I'm actually editing the video's audio on these speakers as well after the fact. The last thing I really love is having them plugged into my record player. I have just a standard cheap record player that's got the MP3 hookup and all of that other little stuff that you can get, but the speakers are garbage at best. Being able to easily hook these up and bring those records to life without having to get a more expensive record player and run all kinds of cables and have it set up in a place I don't want is a really great thing because I love having my record player set up on the other side of the room. I don't always like music blasting in my face when I'm working. I kind of like to have a little bit more of an ambient feel. And I just didn't have the space to do that over here. Being able to have a small space with these speakers and my record player away from my regular desk kind of gave the room a little bit more of a homey feel and gives it more of that vibe. So what do you guys think of the Vigilant Audio Switch Ones? Do you think that these could fit in your setup and what would you use them for? Would you use them for hi-fi stuff or your TV or gaming or video editing or sound editing? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much. Take care, we'll see you next time.